So then you unveiled recently the E Stream. The E Stream. When you, when you want to talk about revolutionary um, movements within an industry that's been fairly stable over the course of the last number of decades, the first electric powered camper in the US, as you said, when it was launched, there's nothing like it in the industry. Tell me why, Bob. Well, the, yeah, the E-Stream was, uh, was and is a real uh, swing for the fences uh, concept vehicle developed by Airstream with our parent company, Thor Industries, and our German affiliate, uh, the Heimer Group. And uh, what we realized we needed to do was, was rather than wade into the space or dip our toe in the water in terms of trying to create a travel trailer that was really ultimately designed to be towed by EVs. We really needed to go for it, pack as many features, content, systems into this product as we could to create a real halo uh, concept vehicle for us from which we could learn, get customer feedback, listen to what the press had to say about it, uh, maybe put a couple of test vehicles on the road and get, get specific in-market feedback. Uh, so we developed the Eastream, as you know, and that's a, uh, it is the first of its kind. It's a fully powered travel trailer. So it's got an 80 kilowatt battery baked into the chassis. It's got two drive motors on the wheels. It's a, it's a, a single axle travel trailer with drive wheels, very light tongue weight so that it can uh, drive itself when needed. Uh, in particular, and this is, the, this is the money shot, when you get to your campsite and backing a, backing a travel trailer up, anyone that's done it, it's this inside joke. They'll all start to laugh and, and, and pat each other on the back. It's an experience. And uh, there's a saying, wherever your marriage is headed, backing a trailer up together, we'll get it there faster. <laughs> so this feature, which allows you to, to uh, uh, move the travel trailer into a tight campsite with your iPhone, not even hooked to the tow vehicle is uh, one of the nice perks of the system. Wow. But really more importantly and practically day to day is uh, the wheels are powered. So as it feels a pull on the tongue of the travel trailer, it can apply power to the wheels and really reduce the load, the drag on that tow vehicle in a way that not only extends your range dramatically if you're towing with an electric vehicle, but also if you're towing with a conventional tow vehicle, it extends your, your fuel mileage. So a uh, tremendous number of features packed into this thing. We're really excited about it. Market reaction has been intense mm. and very, very positive. So now we're figuring out what feature set from this. We really need to, to boil it down to make it affordable and practical for, for more and more people. Well, that's it, right? Because of the number of features that you have on it, including the charging by solar, uh, the, the, the solar batteries that are on the trailer's roof, that powers lights, appliances, other devices. You don't need propane then. And in fact, you said on the launch, you estimate it could be used for two weeks without supplemental power or solar. Interesting concept, but probably not cheap. <laughs> no, and, and again, in this concept, we really packed everything in. It's got 900 watts of solar on the roof, um, a fully integrated uh, control system, house control system with uh, voice enabled, Amazon Alexa control, and then of course the chassis itself and all the software it takes to run that complex power and power distribution system. Yeah, it, I wouldn't even wanna guess what this particular prototype would cost, but our job now is to figure out what are those features are really practical for most consumers. Do you need 80 kilowatts of power? That's a pretty big battery. Uh, do you need two drive motors? Do you need all the sophistication and control? Do you need 900 watts of solar? So we have to come up with a mix of these features that really make sense and, and are affordable. And that's the, that's the challenge we're up against, and, but very excited to take it on. Uh, we have had a number of people reach out and see, see if they could buy the prototype exactly as is, but that may not be uh, the most practical setup for, for mm -hmm. most of our customers. How long until we actually see an e-trailer? I would say uh, we're probably 24 months away from having something to market that resembles, uh, resembles the concept trailer. And in the meantime, we'll have a couple of test vehicles on the road. We're talking to our subset of people that already tow with electric vehicles. They've learned a lot about what you can and can't do successfully. And uh, soliciting market feedback from our dealers, our customers, you know, hearing what the press has to say. So it's a, it's a really exciting project. We're really on the learning curve, but very, very 
excited to be uh, to be on that journey.